Hi all. Have you ever slept in complete darkness at night and suddenly heard a sound in the room? You want to know what's going on there, but you don't want to get up to turn on the light. And naturally, you don't have a flashlight at hand. It takes a long time to turn on the phone and it is not always clear where it is exactly located. I myself have encountered this situation more than once, and today I decided to fix it once and for all. Many have an outlet near the bed, where people turn on their phones at night to charge. I decided to use this moment and make a small nightlight out of charging my phone. The scheme looks like this, only three diodes. We apply five volts to them through the button. At this voltage, the LEDs will work perfectly and shine brightly, but they burn out quickly. To lower the voltage, I added two diodes to the circuit. Both diodes are marked one in 4007. The assembled circuit looks like this. There's nothing complicated. When I press the button, the LED lights up. I drilled four holes in the power supply case, three of them with a five millimeter drill and one with a two millimeter drill. Then he took a small button. It is non-latching and has four pins. Although she has four legs, there are actually only two contacts. Left top and bottom are one contact, and both right are another contact. When the button is pressed, the contacts are closed to each other. After I inserted the button and the board, there was a small problem. The board did not want to stand in its native place. When I pulled out the board, everything became clear. This diode is to blame. In the photo, it is in the left hole, right where the button should be. No matter how much he bothered me, I pulled him out and soldered under the board. Here it will not interfere with anything, and the button will take its place. Then the board stood up, as expected, and the diode does not even touch the case wall. Then I put a button on the outside of the case, having previously bitten off two unnecessary legs on it. Then I also inserted LEDs into the holes. He bent his legs to one side, and soldered everything together. Thus we got such a design and did not have to bathe with soldering in the inside of the case. Then I inserted everything into the case. Before that I soldered two wires. Yellow is plus and blue is minus. The LEDs in the holes held up perfectly. And I fixed the button with super glue. Hot glue cannot be used here since a lot of heat is generated in the power supply case during operation. I glued two layers of electrical tape on the legs of the LEDs, and I stuck about 10 layers on the button. I made a small pillow. The pad will lie between the capacitor and the button, and during operation, the capacitor will support it from below. Diodes 1 and 4007 I soldered to the plus and to them a yellow wire coming from the button. The blue wire is soldered to negative.
Then I insert the board into the power supply case, and carefully, with the help of tweezers, I lay the wires. I insert the second roof and everything. The power supply is ready, it remains only to check it. Plug in the power supply. We press the button. Even in daylight, the bulb shines very brightly. In the dark, it is better not to look at the lamp. Very blinding eyes. But it lights up the room really well. It's easy to find a cat on the couch, a dog on the floor, or a gremlin under the bed. Here is such a simple nightlight turned out from a regular phone charger. I'm sure there will be people who will find it very useful. If you liked the video, please like it. Subscribe to my channel. Write your suggestions for improving this device. And bye everyone.